odor of moisture. In any city, in any country, go to any hospital or mental institution you can get yourself into. Do not go inside at first. There must be a lush garden in the front of the building. If there is no garden, look for another object, for you will not find the object you seek here. If a gardener is working, speak to her. Anything you say is fine. She will pick a red rose and walk you inside. If she picks any other flower, do not enter under any circumstances, or your death will be imminent. Ask the worker at the front desk to see the holder of moisture. He will grin and attempt to shake your hand. Do not give him the satisfaction of returning his handshake or smile. Remain emotionless. He will lose his smile quickly and lead you and the gardener to a door down a well-lit hallway. The door inside will be a bright blue, unlike any other door in the whole building. It will open, and the gardener will enter before you. The worker will shut the door. Wait five minutes exactly in this dark room, making no sound whatsoever. If the gardener speaks, do not reply, for if you do, the flesh will melt off of your bones and hell is where you'll be. Enter through the door you came through after the wait is over. This new hallway is lit only in the center. Follow the light. The walls are coated with mold, and the floor is slick with dark water. The ceiling is leaking constantly. If any water leaks on you or the gardener, head back the way you came, or the water will engulf you and your guide, forever drowning you and your soul. If the water leaks around you and your partner, continue down the lit path. The path will come to a close, and no door is seen at the end. A vase with clear water sits atop a desk. Take the rose from the gardener and put it in, stem up. If the water becomes dark, praying your hardest will not work, for your death will be horrid, as monsters from hell reach through the walls and slowly tear you limb from limb. If it stays clear, remove the rose and toss it to the wall behind the desk, shattering both the wall and rose as if they were made of glass. The gardener will step through the rubble and will beckon you to move forward. Do not take her hand if you value your life, but follow closely. The grass in this new room is gleaming with dew, and you are surrounded by flowers and foliage of all kinds. But the aroma emitted smells of death, and soon every droplet of dew turns blood red. The gardener meets your gaze, for she is the holder of moisture. Do not take your eyes off of her when she asks if you will help tend to the garden. Reply with another question. What will become of me after my journey? She will frown, for she sees your grim future and avoids your question completely. She has begun to like you through your short quest together and fears that if she tells you of your future, you may give up everything. She then chooses to tell you of the lost objects and each of their holders in horrifying details that keep you edging towards madness. The gruesome details will seep into your soul, and will remain scratching at your insides until she is finished. Do not look away from her eyes until she asks what you think of her. You must reply. Thank you. If anything else leaves your lips, her rage will be murderous. She'll become a hellish creature, and you will sink through the ground as demons tug at your feet. 
she will bid you farewell with a light kiss as she places a vial of water into your hands from her coat pocket. Hold on to it tightly. A massive wave of water flows from behind her, knocking you off your feet. Unconscious. You will wake up outside of the building, the lush garden gone, as well as all life from inside. This vial of water is Object 409 of 538. It will never quench their thirst.